But friends, when you think about fast computers, what usually comes to your mind? Intel and NVIDIA, right? That's, I mean, that's what powers the fastest consumer grade desktop you can get right now. This is what's powering the fastest supercomputers in the world right now. You got Volta technology running at 200 petaflops. You got Intel saying that they're gonna build a one exaflop supercomputer with their Xeon scalable CPUs, and that's gonna be done in 2021. Well, my friends, you would like to think that Intel and NVIDIA should stay at the top forever, but you know what? AMD is sick. They're sick of losing. They're sick of being the underdog, which is why they have announced their collaboration with Cray and the Department of Energy to build the fastest computer ever made running on Epic and Radeon Instinct and coming in at 50% faster than the Project Z project that Intel just announced a couple months ago. Now it's actually gonna be 1.5 exaflops of total computing and come online in 20. 21. It's going to be going to the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. It's going to be used for a lot of interesting things, my friends. The project is going to be called Frontier, and one of the people involved, Rick Perry, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, and also somebody from Texas, saying Frontier's record-breaking performance will ensure our country's ability to lead the world in science that improves the lives and economic prosperity of all Americans and the entire world. Frontier will accelerate innovation in AI by giving American researchers, world-class data and computing resources to ensure the next great inventions are made in the United States. That's right. USA! USA! AMD too. So it's going to be using some interesting technology, mostly based on AMD's Infinity Fabric technology, using four GPUs for every CPU to create this 1.5 exaflop beast, which is crazy because we still measure consumer desktop graphics cards in teraflops, and then you go to petaflops above that, and this is another order of magnitude higher in exaflops. So it's 1,500 petaflops, which if you multiply that, this is 1.5 million teraflops. That's crazy. That's a rough calculation, okay? I know you multiply by 1024 and not 1,000, but that's not how I'm gonna do math quickly right now for you. So AMD expects to have this built with, in partnership with Cray by the end of 2021, and they expect the supercomputer to go online in 2022, at which point they will take the crown from Intel with their Project Z garbage. I mean, one exaflop, that's like baby flops right now, okay? It's like a baby belly flopping into a pool. It's disgusting. AMD coming in with radio Epic, coming in with Epic and most presumably Navi to destroy the competition because that they're the little engine that could. You know, they just celebrated their 50th anniversary, and what we've learned is that those first 50 years were the worst of them. We've got the best years ahead of us. Go Lisa Sue, winning. That's the end of this one. Love you too. I'm a shill. Bye.